Okay guys, today we are here at 150 Stinson. Uh, we sold the home about a month ago. We're gonna be closing in about two days. And I just wanna show everyone uh, what we did. I'm maybe gonna include some before photos so you guys get an idea. But let's go inside, let's take a look. When you walk into this project, right away you're greeted with these tall ceilings, okay? And what they included, which was not previously in this home, was coffered ceilings. And it makes this luxurious grand design. I really like the look of it. Great touch, great touch by them, okay? They installed really nice wide bleached hardware, which I really like in all modern homes, luxury homes right now, that this is the, the, the look you're getting. And that's what they installed here. And it makes, it makes the room and the house look brighter and, and bigger and uh, this is something that we always push our clients to do is to include these luxurious small details. Moving forward we have a beautiful two-tone kitchen with these white countertops, waterfall design which is really nice. I love that type of design. A lot of luxury homes have that and, and this is basically Luxury in Hamilton and the buyers who bought the home uh, They thought wow to, to have a home like this in Hamilton where it's you know so well done. It's a blessing so That's why they bought it if we go past the kitchen, okay uh, It used to be a bedroom because it was an old lady that used to live here and uh, she couldn't climb up the stairs so she used uh, this room this addition built on the house maybe about 50 years ago as her bedroom uh, It was wonky floors, so they leveled everything out. Okay Continued the hardwood, but what I told them to do. Hey, listen, let's put a laundry unit on the main floor Okay, so what it became is a laundry and powder room area It's not just a powder room. It's a full washroom. So you have the bathtub, okay, and shower head, okay? And then you have three-piece washroom. There is a basement apartment, okay? And the parking in the front is going to be used by the tenant, by the basement tenant. So, where the where do the homeowners park? Well, they park in the back. So this this area becomes technically the main entrance for the homeowners. It, let's say it's the winter time, the kid is uh, has his snowsuit on. Right away, you throw it in the in the laundry room and into the wash. So here we have um, the laundry room. Right when you come in from the the back entrance. So what we have at 150 Stinson is a three bedroom home. Okay, three bedroom, one washroom. The first bedroom that we are greeted with when we come up from the stairs, okay, is this small little what I envisioned as a crib room. So it's about six feet by 10 feet, which is a really, really small bedroom. So for a young family, it's a perfect baby room, crib room, whatever you want to call it. Or for young professionals, I envisioned an office. Okay, so walk, walking into bedroom number two, uh, you get a larger, regular sized bedroom in my opinion. It's about 10 feet by 10 feet. Okay, you have a window that faces the backyard again, which is really nice. Okay, in the summertime, you got all these trees and the escarpment. There's no neighbors looking into your window, which is really nice. So this bedroom, very simple, 10 by 10 with a closet. So the third bedroom is the master bedroom. The master bedroom has these two north facing windows. It's a pretty large bedroom, I'd say. It's about 11 feet by 13, 14 feet. And uh, in a nice little simple small closet in the corner. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna head over to the basement because the basement, as I mentioned previously, is a separate basement apartment, okay? And why we did this basement apartment is because, well, cost of living is going up. How do we reduce mortgage payments? Well, we make a unit in the basement to help the homeowner out, a basement unit like this, you can, in Hamilton, you could probably get for, or you could probably rent it out for about a thousand to twelve hundred bucks a month, all inclusive. Okay, they have a separate basement entrance. Okay, 
from the outside and they have a parking located in the front. And it's a brand new unit, okay? Brand new vinyl floors, brand new washroom, brand new kitchen, okay? Everything about this basement unit is, is brand spanking new. So this is the, the bedroom that we've created. It actually used to be a wine cellar, okay? The previous owner, what they used this basement for is um, they, they had barrels and jugs and everything and they used to dry meat and uh, make wine down here. When I saw this property when it was in its original uh, state, I walked down here and I had to crouch and I had to look up and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, like is this basement even usable? Can you even stand here fully? And then I walked up here and I saw, hold up, this is a bedroom. This is the bedroom. This is amazing, okay. And then, and then you keep on going forward and you're like, okay, there was already an existing bathroom here. It was really shabby, it was like really ugly. So, okay, cool. All the plumbing fixtures are here. They're ready to go. You got your sink, you got your shower, you got your toilet, perfect. Okay, out of the basement unit. And you got this, basically the tenant's backyard. So the tenant's backyard is is separated from the homeowner's backyard, okay? I think it's, I think it's, a, it's, it's a great concept uh, and the vision was executed how it should have been. When, we, when I saw the property, I was like, guys, just buy it, just buy it. I know it's gonna sell, I know it's gonna sell and I know that you guys can make a quality product, no doubt. There's 150 Stinson for you guys. Okay, so it closes in two days. Hopefully, I, I pro probably have the video up on closing, um, so you guys will get to see it on the on the project that Kitchenland has completed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the property, we got tons of information at the website in the description link below. Go check it out for before and after pictures and a bunch of other cool stuff.